Hello everyone. My name is Nirupam Sanwal along with my project partner Manoj Kalita, JM Sakir Laskar and Meenakshi Das. I am going to give a brief overview of our project we did under the guidance of Professor Kandapa Kumar Sharma. The title of our project is to build a portable network using software defined radio. This is the outline of our presentation. The domain of our project is wireless communication. So what is wireless communication? Wireless communication is a type of data communication that is performed and delivered wirelessly. That means there is no physical connection between transmitter and receiver. The motivation of our project is it will help on deployment of mobile contingency network in emergency or at the time of natural disaster. This is the literature review we did. Following is the methodology of our project. These are the identified problems followed by the formulation of the problem. This is the block diagram of our project framework. Here we are using Raspberry Pi as the commutational device and RTL SDR as the radio frequency front end. Here is the flowchart of the project. Now, what is SDR? It is a software module consisting of DSPs and general purpose microprocessor. This is the block diagram of basic radio receiver. And this is the internal architecture of SDR. Depending upon price and bandwidth, there are different types of SDR hardware. And depending upon the operating system, we have following types of software available. We use Raspberry Pi and RTL SDR to design our project. These are some basic characteristics of RTL SDR. The overall system consists of three major hardware components. First is the receiver, then baseband processor. After that, the transmitter part. This is the generic block diagram of transmitter. This is the generic block diagram of receiver. Next, we have results and discussions. This is the receiver setup built by us. Here, we connected RTL SDR to the USB port of the system and an antenna is connected to the RTL SDR for receiving the radio frequency signal which are viewed in the SDR hash platform. This is the home screen of SDR hash with the control panel. Using the receiver setup, we received different signals and performed many experiments. Here we receive a FM broadcasting signal and a walkie-talkie signal where we viewed the FFT spectrum along with waterfall display. From the received signals, we measured the SNR values and bandwidth of the signals. Then we performed another experiment using different filter on the same signal from which we found that the Blackman Harris 7 is better in comparison to other filters. Again, we performed another experiment by simply varying the radio frequency gain and tabulated the SNR value. Thus, we can say that if we increase the radio frequency gain, the signal quality will also increase. 
Next, we work on building the transmitter setup, for which we connected a patch wire to the GPIO pin 4 of the Raspberry Pi. The patch wire will work as an antenna of our transmitter. This is the complete connection of Raspberry Pi for transmitter setup. Using the transmitter setup, we transmitted a signal 100 MHz as shown in left figure and we received the same signal using our receiver setup as shown in the right figure. In this table, we did the quality analysis of the signal generated by us. In this experiment, we applied different modulation schemes to the gener uh, signal generated by us and we observed that the amplitude modulation is better in comparison to other modulations. Here, we are connecting a 16-bit audio signal using the Raspberry Pi board at 100 MHz frequency. And here we receive the audio signal using RTL SDR at 100 frequency as shown in the display. These are some advanced work that can be performed in the future. Thus, in this project, we discussed the design of a low-cost, efficient, and portable framework for deploying a network using RTR-SDR interface with a controller built on a Raspberry Pi. Thank you.